Hello, everybody. I hope you can hear me and uh, I hope you can see me uh, as well. Uh, more importantly, I hope you can see the, the slideshow, uh, which I'm sharing uh, with you. Uh, my name is Jonathan Gillard. I'm the Director of Admissions and Student Recruitment for the School of Maths at Cardiff University. Thanks for, for joining me uh, this evening. Should you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the, the Q&A, uh, type them in, and uh, I'll come to them at some point during the, the presentation. And I'll also say in a little bit that uh, straight away after this presentation, I'll be on the uh, Cardiff University Virtual Open Day web page chat function. So if you go to the Cardiff University Open Day web page, then you'll see that there's uh, some link there and you can click that and uh, then have a chat with me uh, as well, should there be uh, any extra questions. So yeah, please feel free to, to add something in the, in the Q&A if there's uh, something that, that pops up and uh, you want to have a, a chat, you want me to, to address it there and then. Uh, and uh, we can have a chat uh, afterwards uh, as well. Uh, I'll, I'll hang about here after the presentation in case there's, there's any questions. Or as I said, feel free to, to hop on to the, to the web chat uh, facility uh, afterwards. So I hope everyone can see uh, the slides and hear and, and see me. Uh, if that's not the case, if someone would put in the Q&A that they, they can't uh, see the slides or hear me, I'd be uh, very grateful. Uh, nothing's appearing too quickly, so I'll assume everything's uh, fine. Okay, so what I'm going to be uh, talking to you uh, about uh, this evening is life at the, the School of Mathematics. What, what I'm not going to do is repeat material that already appears on the Virtual Open Day webpage. Um, I'd really recommend you pay close attention to all the fantastic talks that's going on there by the university staff about accommodation and uh, facilities and everything like that, uh, as well as looking at our mathematics specific content where you can see some alumni talking about their experience at the School of Mathematics, as well as some guest, uh, not guest, but uh, some example lectures. I think that's the best way of saying it. So you can get an idea of how we teach things. I think that's a really useful thing. And uh, quite importantly there as well, there's a couple of videos from me going into more detail about precisely what studying at maths uh, is like, precisely what our degree schemes are, what we offer, uh, etc. So. Uh, if you do need to get more of the, the nitty gritty details, then, then I'd encourage you to, to hop on over uh, to the, the Cardiff University uh, Open Day webpage and then take a specific look at the mathematics content that uh, we've got there. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be available in the, the chat room, which is available on the web page that I've uh, written down there. Uh, I'll be there with Katie, who's a current student, and I'll be there till 7pm uh, this, this evening. So again, should you have any questions, then please feel free to get in touch. Uh, also, you know, it's very easy to find email addresses these days, and I'll, I'll, I'll put it up uh, towards the end. If you did want to get in touch to request, we can have a face-to-face -face chat. That's no problem at all. You know, I can jump on a, an online session uh, at fairly short notice, and we can have a chat sure, if, should you have any questions you want to ask one-to-one. Uh, -one. What I'm going to be doing in this slideshow is to try and give a, a flavour of what life in the School of Mathematics is like uh, as a student give a flavour of things, details are not often included in prospectuses, brochures, or the online information. Just, you know, when, once you walk through the, the School of Maths, what's life actually like as a student? What, what do we get up to? Um, what, what are the extra things that, that we do to give you a flavour of the environment at the School of Maths, rather than we offer course A, we offer course B, and, and so on. But as you hear, I will take uh, an opportunity of uh, explaining how some things work and some fresh news just in which, which certainly didn't make you know the, the time for the cutoff of um, the prospectus and uh, things like this so I will give some hot off the press uh, news. So a bit about the application process specific to the School of Maths so I won't patronize you and tell you how UCAS works I'm, I'm sure you're well versed in that now. Um, our standard offer should you uh, apply uh, to, to the School of Maths at Cardiff is for uh, an A in Maths and an A and a B or uh, a B and a B. So you will have uh, an offer somewhere uh, on that range with, with an A in mathematics. What makes us different to other mathematics departments in the UK, and there are about 65 or so places you could study mathematics uh, in the UK, is that we are favorable to those that put us as first choice. 
what that means is, is if you slip an A-level grade, perhaps things don't go your uh, way, uh, we will try our very best to admit you. So for the past two years, we were able to admit all students that put us down as uh, first choice. This is not necessarily, if we look at league tables, the best strategy, uh, because what goes into league tables is something called UCAS tariff. And UCAS tariff is basically a measure of the A-level grades of all incoming students. But at Cardiff, we have the philosophy that if you want to come to Cardiff, if Cardiff is the place you want to study, then we want you to study at Cardiff. We believe that you're much more likely to make a success uh, of your studies if you arrive at the place that you want to be at. Uh, and you know, you're going to be living in Cardiff for three, four, maybe five years, depending on which degree program that you pick. And uh, we have the firm belief that if you want to come somewhere, if you want to study somewhere, then you're going to make a much better stab of it than if you uh, maybe go to an insurance choice or something like that. So we are, we are favourable to those that put us as first choice, and we will try uh, everything to, to get you in, even if you slip uh, quite significantly, perhaps, from, from A-level uh, grades. Uh, so, yeah, we prioritise those people that put us as first choice rather than those that put us as to insurance choice. Uh, and uh, we'll repeat, so the past two years, We've been able to offer places to every single student that uh, put us down as uh, first choice. We have no requirement for further mathematics. Um, it's a, an often asked question. Um, indeed, only 10% or so of our students have uh, further mathematics. It's a common question. Um, the, the way we do things, I mean, we start afresh uh, anyway when we do our degree schemes. It's not that bigger deal, uh, particularly because at University Maths, we, we take a different spin on things anyway. So the extra sort of calculation experience that you get in further maths, well, it's it's not as uh, big a deal as, as you might think it is. We've got uh, 180 places for the next uh, academic year, and we'll have about 600 or 700 or so applications for those 180 places. So so we are a, a popular place for, for mathematics in the, in, the, in the UK. So some new details then, so some new uh, information. We're having a, a brand new building, uh, and so we'll be moving uh, into it uh, at the beginning of the next uh, academic year. So you'll come along to a nice, fresh uh, building. If you have uh, visited the, the School of Maths at Cardiff University before, maybe you visited us uh, for an open day when when we could all meet for, for physical uh, open days, um, then it's just up the road from it. So, so it's, a, it's a stone's throw. So it's uh, not even a, a two minute walk from uh, the existing uh, School of Mathematics uh, building. We're really looking forward uh, to it. Uh, it's always nice to have a, a, a fresh building. One of the things that, that excites me the most about this, this building is that it's got lots of uh, learning space, lots of areas where you can sit down uh, with a member of staff, where you can sit down with your friends and, and work on mathematics. I think maths is unique in the sense that it's both an individual sport and a team sport at times. Uh, you know, you need that time to sit down and concentrate and, and work through things. But there's nothing better as a source of support than your, your peers and your friends, staff. So sometimes you do need to, to sit down with someone and have a chat about work. And it's really geared uh, for that plenty of, of, of space to, to have somewhere to belong and work on your work on your mathematics, that's uh, really uh, exciting. Some of the uh, parts of the building uh, as well, which, which might be interested is we've got a financial trading lab being built within the building. So uh, we offer a financial mathematics degree scheme. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, you can find out more information uh, about that. Um, or even if you just were on one of our regular mathematics degree schemes and fancy doing some of our financial modules, that's absolutely fine. Uh, and a financial trading lab is you can go there and experiment with making your, your millions on the, the stock market. So uh, it's got really innovative uh, locations, you know, a fluid dynamics lab, a cybersecurity lab. It really is designed for uh, mathematics and the, the teaching uh, of it. Here are some snapshots. Um, so the, the snapshots were taken, I think these were taken a month or so uh, ago uh, now. So the building has, has taken even further steps in its development. So you can, hopefully these, these pictures uh, help you 
help convince you that, yeah, we really will have a new building ready for the start of uh, the next uh, academic year. So the outside work is largely complete uh, at the moment. And so uh, work will begin uh, inside. Um, and it's, uh, it's on schedule uh, as well, despite everything that's gone on uh, in the world. Uh, what you might be able to see in the pictures on the right is it's uh, next door to Kate's railway station. So Kate's railway station is a handy railway station which takes uh, has regular trains to Cardiff Central Station, which is about a 20 minute walk away from uh, the School of, of Maths. But if you did want to to hop on a, a train to, to then get back uh, home, then uh, particularly if you're carrying heavy stuff, Kate's to, to Cardiff Central is, is a good way of uh, getting a, a quick train. To, to the central station without lumbering uh, things through town, but it's only a short walk uh, if you didn't have to carry much uh, stuff anyway. So yeah, we're very excited about this new building, which is called the Abacus Building, uh, Welsh for uh, Abacus, as you might have uh, guessed. So that's uh, very much uh, on target and uh, everyone is very excited uh, about that uh, as well. Some other news that's hot off the press, which wouldn't have made uh, prospectus is uh, we've done really, ver uh, really very well in something called the National Student Survey. The National Student Survey is completed by all exiting students from all degree programmes in the UK. So as soon as you graduate from your degree, you'll be asked to complete the National Student Survey. And it's a, a set of 27 or so questions uh, asking you to reflect on your time at that particular university with your particular chosen course. And this is uh, the primary measure that's used in all league tables. So whenever something comes up about uh, teaching or learning and teaching, the National Student Survey features exceptionally heavy uh, in determining uh, performance on, on league tables. One of our degree schemes, the M Math, received 100% overall satisfaction. Um, and overall satisfaction is, is again the primary measure of the National Student Survey to rate how uh, uh, an institution and a particular course has done its overall satisfaction. So 100% of our students were satisfied uh, with the course. Uh, overall, we had best overall uh, national student survey performance amongst the Russell Group. The Russell Group are a set of 20 or so elite universities uh, in the UK. Cardiff uh, is, is one of them. Uh, those are the most prestigious universities to, to study and work at uh, in the UK. Uh, and so we got the, the best NSS overall performance amongst the, the Russell group. Particular highlights were that 95% of staff agreed that they were able to contact staff. And other highlights which set us above uh, other universities in the Russell group was that the course is intellectually challenging, being challenged to achieve my best work, Changes are communicated clearly. Uh, students liked our IT and library resources, and they liked opportunities to provide feedback. <clears throat> and I'll touch upon uh, that uh, towards the, the end, uh, I, I think, uh, as well. OK, let me then just show some photos, really. As I said, I wanted to concentrate on what life was like at the School of, of Maths, just to, to put a bit of color onto the, the picture that you, you get. There's oodles of information online about what, course, uh, what courses we offer and uh, what modules are available on each course. So if you, if you wished, for example, if you were interested in the BSc Mathematics, you could go online, you could see precisely uh, what the modules are that make up that course and what modules you could choose. You could look at the syllabus for each of those modules, reading lists, find out who teaches it, the mode of assessment. You know, the, the information is not a problem. There's, there's, there's so much information floating about, but one thing that's often not talked about is, well, you know, what, what's life like in the school? What, what do we get up to? Uh, and some of those things will involve maths and some of those things won't involve maths. So here's uh, just some stories. Uh, and as a sort of point of reminder of myself, I'll, I'll pick out some stories according to some uh, pictures that we've taken. So I'll begin with, on the top left there, you can see three students. These are three of our math students, uh, Timothy, Lucy, and Joshua. And uh, they entered a, a competition. And the competition was to, to develop some solution, so to develop something that will assist with the, the COVID uh, crisis. And what they came uh, up with is an app. And this app is now uh, in use so that someone can input the size of a space. 
uh, think now of a, a bus or a train or a lecture theatre. And what that will do is if you put uh, the dimensions of a shape in, in maybe, you know, if there's a bus, there might be a pillar in a particular area, the door might be in, in one, one space. And what they came up with is a mathematical way of optimally putting as many people onto that bus, onto that train, onto the lecture theatre as possible, whilst maintaining social distancing, which in this case is, is two metres. Um, and that's not a, a trivial problem. It's quite a rich area of mathematics. Um, it involves something called packing and covering theory. So you want to pack people uh, in a bus, but you want to make sure that you cover certain areas in the sense that once someone is plonked in a particular area, then uh, nobody can be within a two meter uh, radius. So their app is in uh, current use to, to help uh, public transport in particularly, uh, public transport work out which seats they can uh, have people on and which seats they can't have people on. Uh, we've even used it at the moment at the School of Maths. So we've got uh, at the minute socially distanced face-to-face -face, uh, teaching uh, and what seats people are allowed to, to sit on is, is uh, determined by their app as well, as well as the capacity of the lecture theatres uh, as well. So you'd be surprised if you do these kinds of analysis by, uh, by hand, um, you often get a suboptimal solution. So you do need quite robust and rigorous mathematics to, to really get more people in almost. So if, if, you, if you define and solve a problem properly, you'll get more people in a space than if you would ad hoc by placing people where, where you think makes sense. So they entered a, a competition and they won first prize. So they won uh, what's known as the, it was the recovery hackathon prize. So they came up with uh, a particular uh, proposal and they entered a competition and, and they, they won that and that's absolutely fabulous. Um, other thing that we do annually is we run a maths ball. Staff and students get together in a black tie event. Uh, we'll, we'll share a really nice dinner. Um, typically we'll go to a nice hotel in Cardiff or perhaps the Principality Stadium, a really nice venue and share the uh, evening to, together. Um, so have a meal and then there'll be uh, a disco uh, afterwards. Uh, we do lots of things for, for charity. Again, this is where staff and students work together. Um, so top right hand corner is one of our children in need uh, bake sales. Uh, and the bottom right hand corner is MathSoc. Uh, there's a maths society. Uh, they arrange lots of social events uh, as well as some uh, careers talks and some mentoring schemes uh, as well. Again, I'll, I'll come to that uh, in a little bit uh, as well. So when you arrive at Cardiff, you know, you'll want to meet your fellow mathematicians, of, of course you will. And there's lots of things to, to help you do that. So when you arrive at Cardiff, you'll have a prolonged induction program. So we'll be showing you around uh, the building. We'll spend time with you explaining how your timetable works, uh, exactly how the, the course will work. Mixed into that as well will be some social activities where you'll get to know uh, your, your fellow students uh, as well. That, that's, that's very important. So that's another little poster about uh, MathSoc and the, the kinds of things uh, that they do in the, the top left-hand corner. Uh, bottom left-hand corner, so in the middle there, that's uh, one of my personal two Ts, uh, that's Owen. And uh, upon arrival at Cardiff, you'll be allocated a personal tutor who will see you, see you, will look after you throughout your time at Cardiff. So should you have any uh, problems, anything that you want to talk about. Your personal tutor will look after your academic welfare as you go through your, your time uh, in Cardiff. Uh, and uh, one of the schemes that we offer in the School of Maths is a paid summer research internships. So should you want to get a, a flavour of what research mathematics uh, is like, then you can work with us over the summer on a, on a particular research project. So Owen uh, is there with two members of staff, so Gandalf on the left and Ulrich uh, on the right, and uh, he worked for eight weeks on a, a particular mathematical project and, and got paid for that uh, as well. So just as another opportunity of getting to know colleagues and, and really rolling your sleeves up and going to the, to the coal face of, of research maths. The top right hand corner is one of my other two Ts, Orla. And uh, Orla uh, became a mentor. Uh, so every single incoming student to the School of Maths is allocated a student mentor. This student mentor is a year two or year three mathematics student. So someone that's been there, done it, got the t-shirt, you know, got through year one. As an extra level of support, this is someone you can talk to uh, 
and you know without being patronizing it's going to be you know people will find it easier to communicate with with a student maybe rather than a staff someone of your own age someone of your own generation so all is there uh, and uh, other mentors are there to just address any questions that you may have you know so anything from where's the best place to get lunch in between lectures where's the best place to go in the evenings uh where's the best gyms you know those sorts of things uh as well as then more pragmatic questions about you know can you help me with this particular problem on this particular exercise uh, sheet you know they've been there and done it and they're, they're just a fantastic level of, of support so you know your personal tutor will look after you throughout your time at cardiff and you'll be given a mentor to look after you uh, to help you settle in uh, as well one of the things i'm particularly proud of and uh, i say this unashamedly is that our students are in demand by employers uh, our employers will come to us directly trying to to seek an audience with our students to try and encourage them to to apply um, if you do a, a mathematics degree uh, and if you do a mathematics degree at Cardiff, careers are not going to be a problem. Mathematicians are in huge demand. Um, I started working at Cardiff University about 10 years ago, and there was never any trouble for a mathematician getting a, a, a job then. Um, and it's it's got, the situation's got even crazier in the sense that mathematicians are in huge uh, demand, and undoubtedly so. And employers do know the quality of Cardiff students. They, they know the quality of the programmes that we offer, and they know the quality of the students that, that these programmes uh, attract. So the bottom right-hand corner is a picture of a, a mathematics-specific careers fair. These are employers that have, have uh, come to Cardiff Math specifically to, to get uh, our students, saying it bluntly. And engaging with these events is worth its weight in gold. If you apply for uh, a job off your own back. So set yourself an exercise and say, oh, okay, I'm going to apply for this particular job. Um, what you'll do is you'll Google them and you'll come across an anonymous web page. Uh, you'll type out your details and you'll press uh, submit. These people are giving you their direct contact information. It's, it's a name. Um, you're jumping ahead of the, the queue because they uh, know the quality of the Cardiff Math students. They're giving you a direct contact. They don't want you to go through those generic uh, systems. They want you to send uh, you their CV directly. And this is because they, they, they want Cardiff students. And uh, that's something that we're particularly uh, proud of. One unique feature of the School of Maths at Cardiff is our gender balance. Uh, we have about 50, uh, 50 male and female. Um, sometimes tinkers uh, with percentage to, to 52, 48 uh, uh, some years, but it, it usually remains constant around 50, 50. Uh, most other mathematics departments in the UK uh, are 70, 30, 70% 70 male, 30% female, but we're about 50, 50. One of the things that uh, we offer as a school is our Women in Mathematics uh, program. This is to uh, encourage uh, women's uh, participation in, in mathematics. It's open to all. Women in Mathematics, they uh, run monthly socials uh, where we'll have a, a get together, usually over a, a bit of dinner. So we might get some, some pizza delivered to the, to the School of Maths. And we'll watch uh, some film or have some discussion about the, the challenges for, for women in STEM and how we can circumnavigate those problems, how we can solve them uh, as well. So one of the recent events Women in Mathematics uh, group uh, ran, for example, was um, watching the film Hidden Figures, uh, which is about NASA mathematicians. Uh, they were a group of uh, black females uh, and their work was pivotal to help people get onto the, the moon. Uh, but unfortunately, at that time uh, they didn't get the the rewards the accolades that they deserved and it's only recently uh, have they got the the recognition that they thoroughly deserved for their innovative work and their impressive mathematics that they did to put people on the moon uh, so what might happen is we'll watch that film and then we'll have a have a chat about it and a get together in a in a social uh, environment so that's an absolutely fantastic scheme that the school of maths is is really delighted to to support and, and host uh, again, picking some other stories. Well, let me pick this one at the bottom right to give another uh, story. So student feedback is really important to us. 
during your time uh, at Cardiff, you, you can affect change. Uh, you can give suggestions as to things and how we can improve. And you can give suggestions on things that we've done really well and so you want to see more of. Uh, what you'll get is in between every module, there's something called mid-module feedback. So you'll be able to directly give your, your lecturer feedback on things that are going well. And if, if you think things are not so well in the middle of the module, so that you can make change for yourself. As well, and at the, as well as at the end of a, a module, you'll be asked to give uh, feedback on how things uh, have gone for that for that module. Um, there's a staff student panel, so uh, staff and students get together regularly and talk about things that, that are going uh, well and perhaps not so uh, well, so you can affect change. And one of the things that goes on is Speak Week. This is a photo on the bottom right hand corner of uh, Speak Week, so you can see two of our students. And there they're just uh, opening up for feedback, um, you know, accosting you as you're, you're walking past. Uh, you can put a post-it note on or things that we, you like and maybe things that you don't like. Um, so example is, you know, students want to, uh, wanted a water fountain, so we installed a water fountain. Students wanted a microwave, so we installed a microwave, you know, those sorts of things, as well as things that they uh, like. So Speak Week is a, a, a week where we really encourage you to, to think about how can we improve things for, for everybody uh, in the, the School of Maths. Top left hand corner, uh, OSTC is a, a trading company based in Swansea. Uh, once a week, uh, every Wednesday, we take a trip to OSTC. So there's a minibus going there uh, and back. Uh, and this is where you can uh, do more practicing of trading. So as I said, we've got our uh, new financial trading lab being uh, built in our new building. But this will give you an opportunity to chat with uh, experts uh, about how you can, in practice, really uh, making millions on the, the stock market. So as well as getting the, the academic side of things at this, the School of Maths, you can uh, go to, to OSTC in, in Swansea and uh, understand how, how trading works uh, in practice. Uh, bottom left hand corner, uh, we've got our lecturer Geraint and uh, a student, uh, Ang Harad. Uh, we offer a significant amount of material through the medium of Welsh, should you wish to, to study through the medium of Welsh. Uh, so tutorials are available in Welsh. Uh, we have some Welsh uh, speaking equivalents of, of some modules as well. You can also do your uh, assessment uh, through the medium of Welsh if that's something that you're interested in. And Geraint uh, and the student uh, Huang Harad, uh, they work together to make Welsh specific mathematics resources for, for those students interested in studying mathematics through, through the medium uh, of, of Welsh. So this is another example of, of where we've really sought for student help and student support to, to, to help us uh, enhance our provision. Um, because after all, I mean, if you're making student resources, students are often the best people to talk to to, to understand uh, precisely what they want. Top right hand corner, uh, it's a picture of Nicoletta. Uh, every year, uh, we send students to Namibia to help teach uh, students at the University of Namibia. Uh, the University of Namibia has significant challenges in the teaching of mathematics. Every single one of their students uh, has to study mathematics in some say, shape or form. That's regardless if you're doing an English degree, chemistry degree, or mathematics degree, where obviously then you would study maths. Um, but the, the huge challenges that are in the University of Namibia is that they have uh, 1,000 or so students. The vast majority of them uh, live at home, and so they commute in for potentially three hours as, as a commuting uh, distance. Uh, so a thousand or so students needing to be taught mathematics and the biggest lecture theatre, uh, which doesn't have the, the best facilities to say the, the least, uh, holds 300 uh, students. Um, we do things very innovatively at Cardiff, so we use lots of technology to communicate uh, mathematics, so we might have uh, lecture quizzes online, interactive lectures, interactive demos, those sorts of things. So by sending our students to the University of Namibia, um, our students will help teach students and staff there how to engage with these resources. And so if you're gonna teach at scale, so if you really need to teach thousands of students, particularly if many of those students have to commute for, for three hours, you need to come up with really innovative, exciting, engaging solutions for how to teach mathematics. And this is something that, that we're happy to be uh, involved with. I picked a, uh, a random array of 
stories almost just to give uh, a behind the scenes taster into to what life uh, uh, in maths is beyond sitting down uh, and studying. You can see there uh, an email address. So if you do want to have a one-to-one a, a -one chat with me or you've got any questions, please feel free to get in touch. Uh, if you've got any questions now, please type in the Q&A and I'll happily uh, answer them. Uh, otherwise, I'll be uh, in the, the web chat, uh, which I mentioned. So I'll, I'll jump back to the, to the web page. It's so long and it's probably easy just to Google Cardiff University Open Day and then follow the links uh, through there. Uh, so I'll be on the, the chat with Katie until uh, 7 p.m. But I'll hang around for the next minute or so. If anyone types in a question, I'll, I'll happily answer it. But, but otherwise, uh, please come over to the chat and thanks for joining.